All right, welcome back to the uh, next lesson in regards to our car racing tweaks. Uh, so far, we've actually gone through and we've just finished replacing and moving around things, replacing the UN logo. So when they race, they get this big U1 and the restart game button's being placed down there. Um, so what we actually can do now is we can actually go on and move on with the actual energy bar toolkit racing system. This is actually an asset within a Unity asset store that you can actually purchase. I uh, would definitely recommend this asset. Um, however, you guys are actually going to be able to access it from the pack that I give you. Um, as I've had permission off the author. So to actually import that asset, you need to go to assets, import package, custom package. And once that loads, you actually need to navigate in your directory to where it is. Mine is actually located on the desktop. And there we go. So that will actually take a little bit of time to decompress and to import the entire package. Once that's actually done, you'll actually see that there's a lot of different items, just like we did before with the actual car racing game. Just need to make sure all are selected and hit import. That will go through its process of unzipping and uncompressing and then copying that into the directory that you need to. So once this is actually complete, it will actually go th through and all your assets that you require will be there. Now yeah, that's almost done. Again, this process does depend on the speed of your computer and the size of the Unity package that you're trying to import. And there we go. So what you'll actually see is you'll see EB Energy Bar Toolkit and an energy EBT, which stands for Energy Bar Toolkit, Racing Gauges. So what we can actually do is the Energy Bar Toolkit is actually a very good one. I'll just quickly open up the a simple one. Make sure I save my changes. You guys don't actually need to do this, but it basically goes through and can show you all the different types of energy bars that this package can allow you to create so you can actually see different bits and pieces depending on what you want to use for your game and you can also change that one there you can color them as well as get some really weird ones as well so we're actually not going to use the presentation scene we're actually going to use the energy bit energy bar t or energy bar toolkit, sorry, raising gauges, and they'll be one of these two prefabs. Now, I'm actually going to use theme one, scheme one, and you can use theme two, scheme one, or example, however, go through it yourself and have a look which one you want to use. Uh, but for the moment, I'm actually going to have to reopen my scene that I closed before, which is the complete scene. So just make sure that you've got that one up and running with your track. So once you've got that, go to EBT racing gauges, and under that, you'll be able to select prefabs. Under that, theme one, scheme one. And you'll see some prefabbed objects, which means they're game objects that you can just drag and drop into your scene with everything set up for you. So we could do damage, but damage is actually going to be something that we don't look at uh, in this. Speedometer with gears is something that we will be looking at um, because that's the speed of the car and the tachometer, the art revs per minute, we're not actually going to be looking at that. However, the speedo is what we want, so it's just a matter of dragging and dropping into our scene. The very next thing that we actually need to do is the position of values. So you'll notice in your inspector window, with it still selected, that the position is 880, 102, and 868. We actually need to fix that to be also working down to zero or one. So let's just set all those to zero. Let's just quickly play test, see what it looks like. And you'll see that this racing gauge has kind of appeared. Now it's not looking too great, so we can fix it up later. So that's what we'll do now. Um, you'll actually see that Speedo with gears actually has in the inspector window a warning message. It says when pre-modified alpha is enabled, all textures, alpha assurance vary option must be disabled. So we actually have been provided with a fix it button. Uh, thank you to the developer. And when you hit fix it, it does fix the outside speed. However, it doesn't fix the gears. And the reason for that is the gears is actually a child object of that speedo. So if we select gears, 
we'll see the same error message there, fix. And that will fix that issue for us. So now that that's been done, we've actually got our speedo onto our scene. We can hit play. And it doesn't quite move with our car. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to do one thing first is I'm actually going to move this down to the bottom left. I think that's a better place for it to be. Uh, maybe even the bottom right, depending on what I'm feeling like. So I'm going to select the speedo and under the side of the speedo, I'm actually going to go through and set my position of 0, 0 to 0, 1. Now that didn't really do anything for us. Uh, that's fine. If I was to change that to 100, it's actually changing that gear icon that you can see. So I can set that back to zero and that's fine. The problem that we've got is we actually need to go through and drop it. So if I do that, it's only changing that gear icon. And that's because the difference between this one and this one is it's got its position of 72.6 on both of those. So we can actually go through and actually move uh, this manually. And you can see that that goes through. We can go to bottom left if we wanted to, and that drops it down for us. So there are many different ways to move it, depending on what type of energy bar you're using. For this specific one, it does take a little bit of guesswork to work with it. Now you'll notice that the uh, gears is still left up the top, which is not what we want, so we've got to fix that. And to do that, we can actually go through and drop that one down to bottom left as well. However, it's actually gone in that direction. So if I actually set that up as a negative number and a negative number, you still won't be able to see it. And the reason for it is we've really got to normalize it. So once we actually go through and normalize, you can actually see the zero, zero. So if I just drag that up or across, We could just replace that with 72.7, which is what it was, and then 72.6. And you can see that Y value is the problem here. So it needs to be 72.7 going across and negative 72.6. That was a little bit of a math error on my part. Um, once you've actually done that, you'll actually still be able to just play test, see if it's like what you want. And again, it's still not moving, but it's, it's doing what we want. Okay. The only other thing is I'll quickly talk through your speedo gears this value current is what it currently is and you can actually swap and change that like so uh, the value max is the maximum so to go from here all the way around has to be a thousand and we can drag that all the way up now I'm actually gonna make this a little bit more to make more sense and that's literally that's 220 so that means that's gonna be 240 so I'm actually only gonna change that to 240 and let's just change that to 120, which means when I actually type 120, it's going to be 120. When I type 100, it's going to be 100. When I type 20, it's going to be 20. So it just makes things a little bit easier for me when I'm actually coding it later. So from there, we're actually going to go on and create a link with the speed of the car to the rev or the speed of the actual car. Uh, gauge that we've got there but that will be in the next video um, just make sure you've got it in the right position that you're after if you do want it in the bottom right move it around play around with the settings there's a lot in here that we aren't going to use for this simple racing game as most things are already set for us with these racing gauges um, and we'll look at it a little bit more detail in the future lesson but uh, open up the next video to actually see uh, how to actually manipulate that value of value current in code. Cheers.